Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will show you how to play your Capcom arcade games on your Sony PSP. If you are new to the channel, do click the subscribe button and help us reach our goal of getting 1000 subscribers. Thank you. The CPS arcade system was released in 1988 by Capcom. These are physical daughter board that was developed by Capcom to merge with the arcade motherboard to run game software. There were only 33 games released for the CPS-1. Some popular games include The Punisher, Final Fight, Captain Commando and Street Fighter. These games were so popular that it eventually was port over to the Super Nintendo home game console system and the Game Boy Advance. In this video, I will show you step by step on how you can play your favorite CPS-1 arcade games on your Sony PSP using an emulator. These are a great option for someone who wants to relive their arcade memories and for someone who just wants to explore the CPS-1 game library. In this video, I will go through step by step on how to install the emulator, test it, configure it and share some of my recommendation game for the system. This method will work for all PSP models running on custom firmware. If you are not on custom firmware, click the link on the top right or in the bottom description to see how you can run custom firmware on your PSP. Before we start, do remember to subscribe to the channel and check out the other PSP emulator video on the PSP playlist. Alright, thank you for subscribing. Use the second link in the description to download CPS1 PSP. The file will be in zip format so you will need WinZip or WinDRAW to extract the file. Here I have downloaded the file onto my desktop. Using WinDRAW, extract the file. Drag the file and place it onto the desktop. Once it's done, delete the zip file since you won't need it anymore. Next, insert your Pro Duo memory stick onto the computer. If you have modded your PSP, your file format will be similar to this. Now open up the CPS1 PSP folder on your desktop. In the folder, there will be a ROMs folder. This is where you place your CPS1 PSP games. I have included a Punisher homebrew game for you to check out. If you have more CPS1 ROMs, this is where you will place it. ROMs are digital backup copy of the physical cartridge that had been extracted using a dumper hardware. CPS1 ROMs are made up of several files, therefore it will be normally saved in a single zip folder. For the ROMs to work, do not extract the zip file, leave it as it is. I can't tell you where to download these ROMs from, but if you do a simple google search for CPS1 ROMs, there are a few websites that you can download it from. Here are a list of CPS1 games, there were only 33 games released for the system. You may want to pause the video and take a screenshot of this. These are a list of ROMs available for the CPS system. Some of my favorite games for the system include Saturday Night Slam, Captain Commando, Final Fight, Punisher and Mega Man. Here I have a folder of some CPS1 game from. Copy the ROMs and paste it onto the ROM folder on your CPS1 folder on your desktop. On your Prodo memory stick, open the PSP folder. Next, open up the game folder. Now copy the CPS1 PSP folder on your desktop and paste it onto the game folder on your Prodo memory stick. This will take some time. Once it's done copying, you can safely eject your Prodo memory stick from the computer. Insert back the Pro Duo memory stick onto your PSP. Turn on your PSP. For this PSP, it's running on 6.60 Pro C, so I will need to run the Pro Fast Recovery to get back onto custom firmware. Run the Pro Fast Recovery, let it do its thing. It will take less than a minute. If you are not on custom firmware, click the link in the description to see how you can run custom firmware on your Sony PSP. Now that we are back on custom firmware, let's run the emulator. Go to Game, then Memory Card, and then run the CPS1 emulator. It will boot up to the main screen with a list of CPS1 games from your ROMs folder. To load the game, select the game that you wish to play and press circle to load. Let's load the Punisher. The emulator will do a system check to make sure that all files are available in the zip file before loading the game. Just like the arcade machine, you need to add tokens onto the machine. Pressing the select button will add tokens to the game. Let's add a few more tokens. To start the game, press the start button on your PSP. Pressing the square button will be button A while triangle will be button B. Most of the games for CPS1 requires the use of only two buttons. The game runs perfect, buttons are responsive and the sound is just perfect. Just like how I remember playing it in the arcade. 
Pressing the home button will take you back to the main menu. Here you can go to the game configure setting and adjust things like the game screen size and video quality which comes in handy for those graphic demanding games. Here you can also adjust the key configuration button to suit your playing style. In my opinion, the default is the best configuration. Let's go back to the game and play a little bit more. The emulator also has a save state function. In any point of the game, press the home button to go back to the menu. Next, press the R trigger button. Select a slot to save the state. Then press circle to confirm. Now, press X twice to go back to the game. Save states allow you to save at any point on the game so that you can get back to it. This will come in handy especially when you're going into a boss fight or for those games that doesn't have a save function. To load the save state, go back to the menu by pressing the home button. Then press the R trigger button. Select the state and press circle to confirm loading the state. And just like that, we are back at where we last saved. To load a new game, go to the main menu and scroll down to return to file browser. This will take you back to the ROM list with all the games available. Scroll to the game that you wish to play and press circle to load the game. Let's play the Street Fighter 2 World Warrior Arcade Edition which was developed by Capcom and originally released on the arcades in 1991. This was the second installment to the Street Fighter series and a sequel to the 1987 Street Fighter. There were more than 200,000 arcade cabinets sold for this game. This game eventually made its way to the home console market as it was port over to Super Nintendo, PC Engine and Sega Genesis. The next game that we'll take a look at is the Mega Man Power Battle, released in 1985 in Japan. This game allowed players to choose between three playable characters, Mega Man, Proto Man and Buzz. This game eventually made its way to the home console market as it was ported over on the PS2, GameCube and Xbox. Another one of my favorite games to play on this system is the Final Fight. Released in 1981, this beat em up game introduced gamers to characters such as Cody and Guy, whom eventually made their appearances into the Street Fighter roster. This game was so popular that it was ported over to the Super Nintendo and the Game Boy Advance. The last game that we will take a look at is the Captain Commando. Captain Commando is a 1991 futuristic side-scrolling beat'em up game set in 2026. The game takes place in a futuristic version of Metro City which is the same city as the Final Fight series. In this game, you play as Captain Commando and his three faithful commandos to rise up and defeat the crimes from planet Earth and all over the galaxy. Captain Commando is a classic and was one of the seven titles released digitally for the PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, the Xbox, and Microsoft Windows. Talk to anyone above the age of 25, they probably will have played this game. And there you go guys, that's how you play your CPS1 arcade games on your Sony PSP. As always, leave a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel, it is free and it really help the channel. With that, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe everybody.